If you haven't subscribed already, ring that bell to get notified when new movies are posted. Hey, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, and today we're going to look at something just a little bit different. So in my day job, I've been a network uh, professional for quite a few years. We'll just leave it at that. Um, so I've got some PoE switches around, and for those of you who aren't aware of PoE, it's Power Over Ethernet. So this was uh, originally developed to be able to power voice over IP phones in the early uh, 2000s time frame. So I kind of went, well, I wonder... Can I use this to power some of my IoT devices? Uh, did a little digging on Amazon, and lo and behold, look what I found. I found some PoE splitters, PoE to USB splitters. So these do require you to have an 802.3AF or AT-capable switch. Uh, it's available in multiple USB types. It allows you to save on cables, sockets. It gives you greater distance. Um, really, it's, it's a good thing. So for those of you who haven't uh, got any experience with this, what is PoE? It is a networking standard. It allows you to uh, deliver 15.4 uh, or 30 watts, depending if you're running uh, AF or AT gear. Uh, it was powered for voice over IP phones. And most interestingly for me, it uses the same cable as your existing network, right? So you basically, if you've got a PoE switch, you can plug uh, a standard Ethernet, RJ45, Cat5e, uh, Cat6, whatever, cable into a PoE switch port, plug one of these in at the other end, and then you're going to be able to power your IoT devices. Let's take a look. So I picked up a couple uh, different versions of these because I have some different use cases. I picked up a 10100 uh, megabit PoE splitter with female USB adapter. So this is specifically going to be for the iHapper uh, LED strip that uh, I'll, I'll put a link into the review for you guys, uh, because it just doesn't, it's too far away for me to do anything with um, where I want to place it. So by using the PoE uh, injector here, I'm going to be able to then just take a standard networking cable, uh, plug it into here, and plug the USB end into uh, this female part of the adapter, and away I go. That's it, I'll be done. So the other thing I've got here, which I've got quite a few of these uh, around the house already, um, is a USB, a PoE USB to USB micro um, adapter, which is kind of the standard um, in IoT devices. We're starting to see some USB-C, so you can get those as well, but I haven't needed one yet. Um, so essentially what's cool about this one is, um, and about all of these, is you can actually run your your network connection off of these at the same time um, as I have done here with my uh, NetAtmo welcome camera. So you can see here, I've got it up here. I've got two cables. Sorry about the uh, the camera in here. I've got the, the ethernet plugged into the end of the adapter. The two cables split out. One is running um, wired ethernet, so not wireless. And the other is going, uh, powering the micro USB and works great. I've also got the same thing done here with the iHapper. Um, the LED, and uh, again, nothing real technical about here. You just need to have a PoE switch if you don't already have one, but the benefits, I think, are pretty huge. One cable makes it easy to hide, right? You can see here, uh, just in the background, you can't even really see it, right, which is kind of awesome. Um, really, that's about it. There's really not much more to go on here um, to say about these products. They just kind of work. There's no setup required. Uh, the only thing that you are going to need is that PoE switch or a PoE power injector. Those are also available as well if you've only got one of these uh, maybe that you want to power. So other devices that are capable to be powered over PR PoE are like uh, wireless access points, those kind of things, phones, like I said. So it's, it's a good investment, I think, to have in your house anyways. And just the ability to clean up all your cabling, get down to a single cable, you know, all the, it's, it's just a good thing. So what do you guys think? Is this something you guys find useful? Um, I try to find you things that I think are useful and that I'm using in my smart home. And this is definitely one of those things that although uh, if not sexy, it's not going to provide me a whole bunch. It saves cables. There is a ton of aesthetic value to it. And quite frankly, I can put more devices out because I have 24, 48 port switches. I don't have 24, 48 port um, sockets in my walls, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Likes, shares, always appreciated. Um, subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? It helps. It helps you guys um, be aware of when I'm posting new videos, and it helps me get more sponsors and those kinds of things. 
And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, definitely check in the video details below as well, where there is a coupon for my Udemy class. Thanks, guys.